Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Core Talk slash Workout. It's Friday, 9 a.m. Denise Posnack, Daphne here with a little um, starter. So I've been hashtagging, or I'm starting this hashtag of holiday health. Uh, one thing we want to do when we're in the holiday season is really pay attention to our health. Because A, we want to enjoy the season because it's fun to spend time with people that you love, friends, family, go to parties, all of that. And B, in January, we want to feel good. We don't want to feel like really, um, you know, bloated, overdone, depleted, and we don't want to get sick, right? So, um, was reading in Family Circle, yeah, Family Circle. Um, my husband got me Parents Magazine as a um, sweet little gift, I think for Mother's Day, which was super cute, but it came with like five million other magazines, one of which is Family Circle. I would never have purchased this on my own. However, I love this tidbit. So they're first on their, they say you wanna stay healthy this holiday. Their first um, goal or tip is to find time for fitness and guess what it says? Research has shown that exercise can knock down sick days by 40 to 50%. Okay, so that is a factual thing. Research has shown that exercise can knock down your sick days by 40 to 50%. I will say exercise can help you detox, especially if you're sweating. It can help you detox all of the drinking, um, the alcohol, the uh, you know, the sugar, everything that you're consuming in excess, um, and also is going to keep your brain pretty um, uh, steady, and it's going to de-stress you. I mean, you all know the benefits of exercise. I don't need to tell you. So I want to encourage you to come to these core talks, listen to them, to remind yourself to pay attention to your body, to amp up your health especially during the season where you feel like you don't have time to do it, okay? So let's get started. Today's workout's gonna be a quickie, 10 minutes. Let's sit down. <sighs> with our, um, you can sit on a pillow, you can sit, if this is fine, without a pillow, it's great. And just take a moment to settle into your sit bones. Close your eyes, breathe in. Oh, breathing is quite important during the holiday season. Breathe out. And breathing in. And out. And again, in. And out. Take your shoulders up to the ears and bring them down. And up to the ears and bring them down. And up to the ears and bring them down. A little circle with the shoulders. Super important guys, as you're stressing out, it's starting to get cold. And so if you're in anywhere other than California, it's starting to get cold. And that means we start to walk around like this, right? So we need to really pay attention to the sh shoulder neck area. Bring your right arm up and let's stretch over to the side. And then come back and left arm up and stretch over to the side. And come back and right arm over. And back and breathing. And back, good. Bring your legs around. You're going to hold on under the thighs. Take an inhale. On your exhale, I want you to curl back halfway. Pull the tummy in. You can flex your feet a little bit. Hold there. One. Tummies in. Two. Three. And four. Curling all the way up and lift through your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Head goes down. Pull your abs in. Tummies in. Tummies in. Tummies in. Go back and hold. Two. Three. Four. Five, and then come all the way up. Lift up through your back. And now go all the way down with your arms here, chin to your chest, powerhouse in, tail under. We're gonna go all the way down to the back. This is not the easiest thing to do. Bring your arms back for everybody. So what you wanna do as you're coming up is hold on to the thighs. 
Bring the chin to the chest, pull your tummy in and crawl yourself up your legs. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Bring them forward. If you need to hold on so that you can keep your abs in, then do that. It's better to have your abs in than to not. <laughs> Use your hands and then sit up tall and then extend your legs forward if you can. Maybe you're here, that's fine. Then drop the head over, reach, reach, reach. Give yourself a gentle stretch, stretch, stretch. And then roll all the way down to the back. Bend your knees into your chest. If your neck bothers you, head goes down. Otherwise, come up with me. We're gonna get going. Right knee in, one. Switch, one and two. Switch, two and three. Tummies in and four. Switch, four and five and five and six and six and seven and seven and eight and eight. Bend both knees. Drop your head and relax. Curling up, tummies in. Stretch your arms and legs up and then come in. I'm doing this minimally, and then come in. If you want to extend it, go out, and come in. Tummies in, out, and in, and out, and in, and out, and in, out, and in. One more, out and in. Drop your head and relax. From here, curl up, bring your hands behind your head. You're gonna twist over one. Switch, one, two, make sure your tummy's in, three, navel to spine, four, that's super challenging to do, but that's your goal, and six, two more, seven, and eight, bring your feet down, arms by your sides, let your tailbone come under, roll it under, and start to lift the pelvis up. Stretch into the hips, pressing up, reaching up, shoulders are down. <sighs> Breathing, come down one vertebra at a time. Massage the spine, enjoy that. And come up, tummies in, curling up, reaching up, stretching up. Press those hips up, abs in, abs in, abs in. And then rolling down, scoop in, 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 and in. And one more, tailbone under, powerhouse in. Your powerhouse is your abdominal system, plus the base of the glutes. And then come down, and down, and down. Good, go ahead and sit up. Today we're gonna roll like a ball. This is a fun Pilates exercise. Make sure your mat is thick enough or you have like a towel and a yoga mat or you're on carpet so you have a nice cushion. First, we're gonna start with hands under the thighs if you don't usually do this. So your hands are under your thighs, your tummy's in, you're gonna rock back to your middle back and come up. Find your balance. Do it again, tummy's in, go back and come up. Now if you've got that, you're gonna hold on to the ankles and bring your head down, tummy's in, go back and come up. Powerhouse in to rock back. And come up, don't let your head hit the ground. Scooping in, and come up. One more, tummies in, and come up. Good, all right, from here, extend your legs out to the sides, just a little wider than your mat. Bring your arms forward, take an inhale. Chin to your chest, exhale, go forward. Roll up through the spine, sitting tall. Lift your arms to the ceiling and bring them back down. Head goes forward, tummies in, reach, reach, reach. Abs go back, arms go forward. Rolling up through the spine, lift to the ceiling and arms come forward. Again, chin to your chest, powerhouse in, reach, reach, reach. And then rolling all the way up, bring your arms out to the sides. Twist to the right, dive forward and stretch. Come up, untwist, twist to the left, dive forward and stretch. Come up, untwist, lift through your spine, twist. If your knees need to be bent, go for it. I'm gonna bend them just to demonstrate that, keeping them bent so your spine is long and twist. Come up 
and back to center, coming down. Okay, let's go over onto our stomach. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Spine is long, legs are long. Shoulders are down the back. You're gonna lift up through the chest. And then you're gonna come down. And again, shoulders down, lifting up through the chest. Woo. And come down. One more, shoulders down, lifting out and up. And come down. Sit back over your knees and stretch. Woo, reaching long, 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 long. Let's come out into a forearm plank. So you're gonna come onto your elbows and forearms, okay? Tuck your toes under, stretch your body out. Spine is long, tummy is lifted up. Shoulders are down, legs are charged. Hold. Breathe. And come down. All right, looking to one side, we're gonna place our hands on top of each other, like that, and then bring them on your back. Your tummy's in. You're gonna kick your seat, one, two, three. Then you're gonna plant your arms. I mean, your feet lift to your back. Open, two, three, and go to the other side. One, two, three, plant your feet, lift up. Two, three, other side, and a one, two, three, plant the feet, lifting up. One more, and a one, two, three, plant your feet, lifting up up, up, and come down. Sit back over your knees and stretch. Good, we're gonna end with a little Pilates push up here. Reaching out long, you want the hands right underneath your shoulders. If this is you, if you're just joining now, and this is the only thing you do, brilliant, do it with me. Your hands are under your shoulders, your legs are back, and your feet are squeezing together. If that's too much, you bend your knees and you cross your feet, otherwise, up, spine is long, powerhouse is in, little bend in one, lift up one, two, lift up two, shoulders down, three, lift up three, four, lift up four, one more, five, and up, then send it back into a downward dog, Woo. reaching long, and come on down, okay, that's your morning workout, or afternoon workout or evening workout whenever you're doing this. Have an awesome day. Remember to check in next Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesdays at 1 o'clock Eastern, Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. I do a brief core talk, wellness tips, workout tips. And I advise it because it will just set your brain on your body and we need to remember to keep our brains checking in with our bodies, right? So it's a simple thing for you to do. Check in, think about how you're working out, how you're taking care of yourself, and you will end up taking care of yourself better, okay? So have an awesome day. Come over to the website, www.mybodwellness.com. Sign up for the email list so you can get informed on all this stuff and get, um, uh, free resources, all of that, okay? So I'll see you on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Have an awesome weekend. Bye.